Welcome back to Wedding Cash. Today we are going to talk about landing pages and the importance of a landing page because as you know, because I know you've been subscribing, right? And if you haven't, click that subscribe button that you know that I talk about the landing page is so important, right? Not your website your landing page, okay? Where the customer lands or the prospect lands after they click through an ad in order to get to your website, right? Because the landing page is what's going to convert. This is what's gonna get people to schedule an appointment and this is what's gonna get them to learn more about your company, right? And the whole idea of this, of course, is to go with that funnel approach. Remember the funnel, cold traffic, warm, 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 and at the very, bottom we get the lead and then of course from the lead going into um, scheduling an appointment which from there you're going to hopefully book a lot of clients right because that is or book maybe not a lot but of course book enough to where you're making money doing this which is the reason why you're watching a show called wedding cash anyway um, but it is very very important that you have a landing page that works and that it's structured that your your ads are structured in a way to where you're not turning off leads by you know sending them to irrelevant pages right so let's go to the computer and let's talk about this okay so let's start at the top of the funnel and if you remember what the top of the funnel is is that we're cold traffic right so we are going to be brides and grooms who are looking for let's say today wedding photography and let's go to denver right beautiful colorado do you snowboard like i love snowboarding right and breckenridge is one of my favorite places to go to but i went ahead and did it for you anyway so let's go to i went ahead and got started for you uh, wedding photographers in Denver, okay? So this is actually really good. Actually, everything that stands out up here, it's this right here, okay? Because if you're looking around, I mean, you'll see that some of these have reviews. That's fine, you have some pricing, but here you can see where the pricing starts, right? They put it up here at the top, which is always good because it really helps that pop out and stand out, especially if couples are like, oh, well, that's a pretty good deal. Let's start there because remember, as I've said before, this is not your high-end client, right? These are clients who are looking for deals, right? And they might be high-end, but if they're looking for photography and they're starting here, um, more likely or not, they're looking for deals and just, you know, pricing that's, you know, not that expensive, right? Because they're going to the nut. Um, otherwise, they'd be going through a coordinator, right? So that's what they're looking for. So this, so this person here knows what's going on, right? Well, let's go ahead and click on that. And let's say we're the client. And we say, okay, great. Well, this looks pretty good. You know, this person's got some nice stuff. Um, you know, and look at their pricings here. Okay, great. Okay, well, let's go to their website and see what's going on. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay. Well, this isn't so bad. Okay, this is kind of where, what you want to do, right? Landing page, this works really well. At the top of the landing page, there's a check availability right because that's what you want to do is check availability gives an idea of where where the pricing starting and, and a button to click to get more information on that right some real reviews which is going to link them back to the knot okay so this is a really good landing page and the reason why this is a good landing page is because it doesn't take you to the home page of the website in this case it is, but the home page of the website is a landing page. Let's go ahead and take a look and see, and what I mean by that is you're collecting information right off the bat, right? Even before you get to anything else, you're collecting info. That's important. Your web, your landing page needs to do what you want it to do, right? And what you want it to do is to collect the information, is to get a, um, you know, is to get you know, some, a lead, some leads going, right? You want to get emails. So you can market to those emails, and that way you can draw interest and generate that interest, right? You don't want to go to some random website where it's not asking for those things. Um, let's take a look at this one right here, right? Okay. So, again, we got pricing. We got some really good reviews. Let's go to the website. Okay. Do you see anything here that collects emails? No, not yet. Let's keep going. Right? What do we want to do? We want to collect leads. We want to collect emails, right? And what are we doing? We're just showing a whole bunch of wedding photos. That's great. But the thing is, is that technically, they kind of saw some of this right here, right? So the way you want to look at it is that this is really kind of the home page, right? When you're thinking about 
wedding wire and the knot, think of it like this is the home page, right? They've already seen this, right? So they're looking at your stuff here. Now they want to know more information about you. So if they click here and you're going through the same stuff, well, now you're kind of just like wasting their time again, right? And that's not to say anything about, you know, this photographer. I'm sure they're terrific. But I'm just saying that the way that this is laid out, this is not how I would advise this person to do this. What I would advise, and if she's listening, what I recommend that you do is go right here to the pricing sheet, okay? There you go. This gives you at least a better sense of what's going on, right? But again, I don't see anything where you're collecting information, right? Information on insurance, but again, you can go over here and hit click the contact button, but again, you don't have anything on the home page where you want to get leads, right? I can't punch in information on leads here. I'm going to, I can't, you know, I can't contact them from this page. Now I got to go where? Now I got to go over to pricing. Okay. But once again, I don't think I can contact from here unless I'm missing something. So I'm a bride and groom. I'm trying to contact this person. I don't, I still don't know how to contact them. Now I got to scroll all the way up and go over to the contact page. Okay. Now I can contact them through here, right? Or I can email this form below. Okay. That's fine. It's a good contact page, right? But again, where people are going to go to is they're going to go to prices, right? Pricing right away. What I would recommend to them is, again, just to have it start on the pricing page. So you essentially go from here straight to the pricing page, okay? And then, you know, you have some pricing, and then you can collect information. I would put a little information collector right here, the contact button to link them to that contact spot. Uh, place right the contact page right here you want to be the thing is you don't want to have it's a convenience thing think about it like when you go to a restaurant right and let's say you are on lunch maybe you've been on a business lunch before you're on a quick lunch break and you don't have a ton of time right but you just want to be able to pay the get to the check there's nothing worse <clears throat> excuse me then looking around for the check, right? Where's the waiter? Where's the check? I don't see the check. Where's the check at? I can't get to the check. I want my check. I got right. That's how you got to think of this. A good waiter, check back, check down, right? You ever hear of that in the, in, the, in the restaurant industry before? Check back, check down. Go back, you put down, I used to, I used to wait tables, right? You go back, you put, the, um, you put the, uh, the, the check down when you check back and you say, hey, you know what? You don't have to, um, you don't have to pay right now. Uh, take your time, but when you are ready, it's here. It's the same concept with the landing page. You got to be able to get those leads. You don't want them clicking all over the place, right? So if you're on a page like this, I mean, yeah, all this is wonderful, but how do I contact these people? Now I got to go over here. Check back, check down. There's a reason why restaurant in industries do that, right? It's so that way they can pay now if they want to, and they can turn that table if they want to, but they don't have to. They can hang out for a little bit if they want. And plus the client's not looking around. They're not trying to find the check right? It's already there for them. Same thing here, right? So that little fix would, would, you know, would definitely help. The work is terrific. But if I were to evaluate this page, I would tell her, go to, have it go straight, put, put a contact thing in here, right? Put a contact thing in there. Important. Let's do another one. Okay. Let's go to this one here. Okay. Did they do it? Okay, so again, really great photos. Thing looks great. Okay. This looks good. Let's click the website. Again, this you can do, but now I'm clicking a button to enter a website. Do you see what I'm saying? The thing is, is that I think what happens is, I'm not saying that this person does this, but I think what happens is that they get so hung up on this part looking good, that now the actions, you're, you're, you can go to the contact page, that's great, and it's good that they have it here, right? But the idea that once again, I've gotta click through something in order to get to here, and again, there is nothing here to check availability on this page, right? So again, you have all this amazing work, but if I'm the client, I got to go jump through another hoop or a potential client. I don't even know where I contact them. I guess it's up here. Okay, it's up there, right? But it's not that obvious, right? It's not that obvious. You've got to think of this like a lead page, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly how we do it, 
okay? I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it and how we drove our revenue by doing this. And this works. It's a simple thing to do. And you actually don't have to, you don't have to, um, you don't have to, uh, change your homepage because you might like, let's say if you have a coordinator, right? You might not want to take them straight to like a packages page. You might want to say, well, you know, it's, you know, da -da 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 com. just go to there, right? That's fine. Or like, let's say you're working with, I don't know, like a PR company or something and you want them just to, or an advertising company or marketing company, you want them just to go to your homepage, have them go to your homepage, right? That's fine. But remember, this is your homepage. For clients, this is the homepage, right? Okay. So I'm going to show you how we did it. Okay. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's go to the knot. There you go. Okay. Here's us right here. Okay. We scroll down, click the website. Boom. Here we go. Offers at the top. There's the date when it ends. Here's this and immediately we're collecting information, right? Immediately, right off the bat. Here's the film, here's the information. And so what I would recommend to this client is to have them, I don't know, you don't have to do this, but have some photos and then, add, you know, right here, boom. And then schedule an online consultation right there. Right off the bat, you want them putting their information in and you want them to schedule an online consultation, right? And then here's another film. A little bit more information. Here's our live stuff that we do. Here's some of our social outreach that we do. Here are a few films. But no matter what, you know, even down in our packages, schedule a consultation, schedule a consultation. You're taking them to a page with all the information that they need to know. All of it's right here, right? We have a home page, but this is where you go from this or from this, right? Or from, from this. Correct? So you want to go from this to this. Because, you know, and you don't have to do this necessarily, but you get the point that, you know, going, just putting it on that landing page. And that landing page is so important, guys. It's so important. Because the whole point is to collect those emails. Because you've got to market to the emails. Because believe it or not, email marketing is number one when it comes down to marketing. Forget all of this. This is great. But this is all to get to the emails. Email marketing is where everything is at. Believe it or not, it's the most effective still in it's being recorded in 2020. So in 2020, it's still the, the, most, the um, most effective is email marketing, okay? But to get there, you gotta get, the, you gotta get the leads coming in, right? You can't market to people unless you have their information. You can't, you, know, you can't get appointments if you're not asking for it. Click here, right? So it's so important. The landing page is huge. I learned this from Neil Patel, okay? If you don't know who Neil Patel is, check him out, okay? He does a lot of advertising. He has a lot of videos like, for Google and things like that. But just, if you want to up your conversion rate, send them to the landing page. So when you're going from here, boom, you go to that landing page. This is the home page. You got to think of it. This is the home page. This is the landing page where they want to go to, where they can learn about everything about in one long scrolling page, okay? It's what you want. It's all right there. Lots of media, all the pricing, everything they need to know is on one page. Okay? It's this, guys. It's this. All right? You might not like the design of this, and that's fine. Do your own. I'm not asking you to copy mine. I don't think you should, necessarily. But you get the point. We drive so many leads this way. All right? We average about 20 leads a day, and we average about 60 appointments a week, if you can imagine that. That's where we're at right now, okay? That's where we average, by doing this. Before we did this, you could drop that by about five or 10%. It upped it, big time. So make that change today. If you're on the knot or wedding wire, go on the knot, change it, you know, change it over. You know, make that, make sure that, you know, just so you know, I mean, this is the home page, right? And then your landing page is the next page that you want them to go to. It's where you want them to land. It's where you're going to collect information, schedule appointments, right? And I guarantee you, you're going to find that this is going to change everything for you right off the bat. It's a simple fix that you can do that doesn't cost you anything, right? You just point them to there and you're going to see results. I can 
almost guarantee it. Obviously, if you have a crappy looking website, then it may not work for you. But remember that you want to be collecting information and you also need to get them to schedule an appointment, right? It's all right there, easily available to do on the page that you're directing them to because the page that you're directing them to has on there what you want them to do, right? And that's very, very important. And it's not tacky. It's super easy for the, uh, for the, for the, for the end user. And remember, check back, check down, right? You don't want to be looking around for the check when you, know, you got to get out of there. You don't want to be looking around on a website to find out how to contact you. You want to make it as simple as possible. You want the information right there at their fingertips. Okay, guys, make sure to comment, like this video, subscribe so you can get that ding when, uh, and those notifications when a new one goes up. But let me know what you think. You know, do you believe in this concept? Do you still want to just stay on the home page? Have you tried this? Has this worked for you? Leave a comment, let me know, and I'll see you next time.